Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Mm -hmm. Dear lady, what do they call you? And when mm. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, <laughs> well, good Leanne. I... I uh, oh, oh, oh. Back of shite! Do you hear me? It's a back of bloody shite! It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Fiend. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. Where's it like? What's your game? In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference between me. here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. Taking a wide view, we're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye. Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch. Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the racks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember, Thatch. Keep your cannons, Court. Piss off, man! You'll want nothing but can be found here, sir. Business well concluded. Travers? What tie brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, so I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a network Templar called, uh, Upton. Could you... 
eliminate him for me. Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to usurp me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, bother. My lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman, Jing Lang, a pirate from the farthest seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? The pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Sorry, my 
brother. Good day, brother. I never thought you'd call him that. Why? What else would you call him? A stranger, perhaps? I barely know you anymore. And if the whispers around town are to be believed, you would have me gone and done away with Up to the top. You know better than to the gossip. A place always too small. Oftentimes turn everything to sentimental comedy. It's domestic tragedy I'm trying to avoid. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family. Except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. That is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance. Quite. Quite. Now tell me. Lord, it eats. Of the map. The map to the treasure. To our legacy. The very one. I have mine. Where is yours? That you know I feel we must protect that treasure with utmost caution. On the contrary, that map is our protection. Its treasure, our freedom. All the more reason to keep it buried. Safe. Well, have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? I really don't think that. Travers estate plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Why not begin now? Vance, are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What do you imply? I am not in company. I am merely... to know love, her fitness. Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea, challenge. How will she adapt to a quiet domestic life? King is none of your concern. Vance, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh, what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she Exactly what she says she is. Jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety. You're always here to be the favorite child, the golden boy. I can't stand it that you would give her art to me. I was going to give you a second glance. So, Hyter, I have no only concern. I will have you. I'll kill you if I must. I will have your heart for the battle. My thanks. Consider yourself a respectable citizen, Captain. Boy. Is that some sort of training? I need some. Is that some sort of training exercise? You have not. Not yet. Not yet. What am I to tell my order? You know we can't leave until I have it. Taking care of it. Give me time. More time? Your loyalty makes you soft. I think you're not man enough to see it through. My flower, it is all but done. Hire the man. In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man? In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. We did not have so many witnesses as we do in there, so trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now.
believe I just saved your life, mate. That's... He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. Good God, man, what's happened to you? I cannot go on anymore. My brother? A traitor? That woman? Templar? I have no family, no wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me! You don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You... You... are my best friend. Come here, I'll kill you! What are you looking at? Hey, hey, you there with a sour face. What was that you said about my mom? I said she's a lovely woman. I thought everyone did. That's right, I said it. I'll fix that. Two jokes talk to the gods. Bring it to me, the freaks of jokes. Come on, mate. Let's go. No! That's... Who the hell are you? Church, sir! In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy... Mate, the Father, the Son, and the Holy... What's the third one again? Let's just keep it moving, yeah? The Father, the Son, and the... Let's keep it moving? No, that's not it. What does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't matter. Nothing in this sour life does. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Let me take your mind off of things, please, my you must have Who are these creatures? <laughs> that's no way to flatter a lady. Nope. Just go as straight as you can. I don't feel so good. Upton, mate, no! Guards! There are guards nearby. Piss off! They won't stand for this. I said piss off! I need a piss. Oh, 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 that's much better. Stop that! What? Why won't no one let me so much as take a piss? Put it away! Oh. I don't want to be like a child, Edward. It's all right, mate. Help me not be like a child. You just need the drink to wear off. Are you safe here? Safety is an illusion. Mm. But yes, I have friends here I can hide. Good. What you must think of me. Have I said anything embarrassing? No, mate. You sound quite the scholar. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? Imagine a Templar. My brother, to marry a Templar. I doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. Oh, please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. You're a forever friend, can I? Hmm.
you're looking better than last we met. As I sobered up, I began to see it more clearly. Jing has led my brother astray, and must be killed. Vance has also betrayed me. As an assassin, his treachery must be punished by death. So either way, one of them has the Templar key. You're obviously distraught. Let me take care of it. I will tell you where to find them. Takes one to know one. <sighs> Jin Lang, as I live and breathe. I told him not to hire you. You traitor! I will not meet the same fate! Imagine the Queen of Pirates, Jing Lang, defeated for a fake map. I have been arrogant. Really? Yes, I stole the real one, both halves. My husband has it. Your husband? Better man than these fools. Oh. <sighs> 
Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. Thirty-two guns, is it? I lost count of forty. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that ain't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch.
found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoilt. Plague and perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Say Zornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. Or if a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? can find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. the whale boat, lads. I see him. Where are you, you bastard? I see him off the starboard bow! He's pulling, Captain! Gotcha! Success! That sea dog's almost done for! The <laughs> sea oh, is dead! A fine hole today, sir. What the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Open fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines, but he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. There's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. Looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Last. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to cover. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigal. Pointless feud of theirs. 
Don't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Nassau. But is that the best course for them? I'm saving this city to make worth money. We're not men made to love We take and spend and live hard wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth and power, not politics. If we found the observed truth, we'd see enough money to buy the whole of England. Or it might be... I mean the best. This don't sit right.
move! As much sail as you can! Crowder goes for work! Come! Keep us safe, just bring them in for a steely kiss! for a boat. That is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads! We're sailing into hell! Ghost the Royals! Come! 
Keep out of her way! She will ram us! Call them in! Get off the wind! Cross the mains! Muzzle them! Stirred up a nest of trouble, Thatch. In service of a noble cause! That is what I hope you mean. Hi! A galleon nearby! And if we track these lobsters quick, we might catch up to us! Know your book learning! Prepare you for a scuffle of this sort, Mr. Bonnet! For certain, there's more to be learned by doing than reading! And ever! Hang in there, Bonnet. Keep your arms up and you're back to the sea. There's another one. Legends ain't born from wildness. Uh, Our galleon has reappeared. Heads up. Take your place. He'll not slip away now. Oh, this is too much. I'll see you back here, Jackdaw, when the smoke is clear. But for now, I need a helmsman. Call it out. Loose the mains! And head straight for that bloody ship. We'll have our medicines and little time at all. Promised that. I'd have shown them my angel if they'd taken quarter. But there's no going back now. She's cracked, but send her the hell. Find the captain at the end. Shite. You'll be hanged and sun-dried just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. 
pattern. We've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Uh, are we victorious? I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Bonnet? Flying your own flag at last? Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir! A fair good morrow to you! Are you not lost? No! Are you not wanted by your wives? And families? And countrymen? How else to explain? Your government's complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms. And yet... Six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my service. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, oh, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines, just in case. Ah, but they're stalling, thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. All right, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Loose the stunts. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower.
catch the wind. There's another watchtower. Blew up, short and sand. We're at half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! Fire's trailing. Steady as she goes, Captain. Charles Town, the Isles. 
someone else to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Say hello to the fence and die. Shit! Alarm! Alarm! Do something, you fool! You devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. 
And now you'll get it. You should have bought it, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Too great. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. Uh, you go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet, and cozy voyage. I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. <laughs> <laughs>